Steve Jobs wouldn't have accepted this and he didn't. So let me come right to the point. We need to tear down an education system designed for the 19th century and replace it with one suited for the 21st. One reason these state leaders have come together is that they have taken a look around them. You don't get change by plugging in computers to schools designed for the industrial age. You get it by developing technology that rewrites the rules of the game by centering learning around the learner. If you were designing an American classroom to give our children the skills they need, occupy Sesame Street. Think for yourself. <laughs> I would like to congratulate you. Seven corporations own all the media in the world. Why should they not own all the education as well? It's okay, a little controversy makes everything more interesting. Uh, at the same time, technology can give children lesson plans tailored to their pace and needs. Today was a very symbolic day to protest. Uh, Rupert Murdoch and Jeb Bush got together to talk about No Child Left Behind and how to use the economic crisis to further privatize education and divert more public funds into private corporate interests. Murdoch is all set up to make lots of money off digital learning. My feeling is that we should keep the schools open, fund them, and we need to tax people like Murdoch in order to keep the schools supported. 